They called it the Shriek. They did. A fierce, monstrous thing of, of pure darkness that emerged from the far west, the saying goes. No one honestly could explain why it appeared. What we do know is that it appeared a few thousand years ago, and it basically, well basically lay waste to the civilization that went before ours. In short, things were looking pretty dark back then. Power swords kicking the bucket left, right and center. Terrible mess. Something of a lost generation. And then he came along. Now there was a hero you could swoon at. Broad-chested mass of bulky, brutal, no-nonsense violence. Thankfully pointed in the right direction. He took up the sword and with bare-faced bravery, or a stupidity that superseded common sense, took the fight to the nefarious shriek. And eventually he managed to banish it. Ceremonious victory huzzah. But he wasn't entirely done. He had enough juice in him to boss the survivors around. He instructed them to build a lighthouse. He said that once its magical flame lit up, he would return and vanquish the evil that inevitably would pester the world once again. Thankful for the hero's work, the survivors of this war pitched in and built the lighthouse. And just to show how appreciative they were, they built the city in his honor at its very base. Malat, my home. And then, well, well, then he packed his bags and vanished, faded into the mists of time without another word. Now, a few thousand years later, Malad stands as a shining jewel of the civilized world. Of course, the Malad Wizards Concord, the head honchos of this city-state, were getting slightly bothered about the long silence from our supposedly ageless hero. They insisted that time was running out, and the Shriek would return soon. Thus, they made the decision to send someone to the last known place they speculated he traveled to. The Great Block, a weird and wonderful world, only accessible by way of powerful magics. Plenty of people had gone out, trying to find this hero of ages gone by, and not a single one had returned. Obviously, they needed someone expendable, someone who wouldn't be horribly missed in case things went awry. And that someone you might venture to guess, successfully no less, was me. My name is Hieronymus Julius Inc. And this is my story. This is a big pile of hogwash. Right then, let's get to work. 